This may seem like an ordinary rock, right? Well, what if I told you that this is the most biodiverse rock in my aquarium? When the animals on this rock feel threatened, they quickly retract into their tubes. When the danger has passed, they will slowly get out of hiding and that's when this rock turns into an aquatic apartment complex. This rock is full of life. Numerous so-called Christmas tree worms call this rock home. They come in a ton of different colors like orange, blue, brown, yellow and some even have multiple colors like this one. Only the tops of the tree are white. The Christmas trees are not alone. They cohabitate with these tiny hermit crabs. They also live inside a tube. And you think that's it? Well, look again. When you take a closer look, you will start seeing even more life. Think of these creatures as the insects in your own home. All over this rock, you will see these tiny flower-like polyps. I believe they are some type of soft coral known as sympodium. This right here is a white ring coral morph. It's a type of anemone that can become invasive in a marine aquarium. There are some mixed opinions and there's not much information about these animals online, so just to be sure, I will remove it from the rock. An army of snails keeps this rock clean of most stubborn algae. These are a ton of small baby snails that bred in my aquarium. This right here is a bumblebee snail. I wonder where it got its name from. Its diet consists of nuisance algae and fermented snails, a common aquarium pest. As you may have learned from my other videos, this right here is an Asterina starfish. It may look like a cute baby starfish, but trust me, it is not. These tiny starfish actually started eating some of my corals in my big tank. Life is always changing. Sometimes certain animals die, providing space for other species to settle on the rock. One animal that has been here since the very start is this clam. It is always filtering the water looking for food. As far as the human eye can see, this is all life on the rock. But can you imagine all the microscopic bacteria and other organisms that live on this rock? There must be so much more. But for now, let's take a closer look at the Christmas trees, because they are truly fascinating. Each worm has two brightly colored crowns that protrude from its tube-like body. These Christmas tree-like crowns are composed of hair-like appendages. These appendages are used to catch dinner, which typically consists of microscopic plants or pedoplankton. These worms don't move from tube to tube. Once they find a place they like, they will stay there forever. In fact, while the colorful crowns of these worms are visible, most of their bodies are actually anchored in burrows that they bore into live coral. When startled, Christmas tree worms rapidly retract into their burrows, hiding from would-be predators. They aren't very big, averaging about 3 to 4 centimeters in length. However, because of their distinctive shape, beauty and color, these worms are easily spotted. And just for peace of mind, this rock doesn't stay in this tiny tank. It sits on the sand bed in my 40 gallon shallow reef tank, which has all the necessary equipment to house it. The rock used to be covered with coral, however, just like any living creature, there's always a chance of it dying. What do you think of this rock? Have you ever seen anything like it? Or even better, do you have one in your aquarium? Let me know in the comments and consider subscribing to see more reef aquariums. Thanks for watching!